let's go through the process of creating a diagram in the playbook. So we open up our playbook here and this is the home screen over on the left hand side in this column we have the tools and we also have files where we access any plays diagrams and animations that we've previously created and this layout is similar to the collections so to begin with we recommend you click on the image library button to select your backdrop so here for football i'm going to select this half field and click ok and then I'm going to create a new diagram by clicking this button or I can go into the top left and choose to create a new diagram here. This a name. And now we have the frame and I can use the slider over in the top right hand corner to make this smaller or larger. So here over on the left hand side you have access to tools. Now you can access different tools by using the keyboard shortcuts and if we hover over each tool you'll see that it's got exactly what's required to open it up. So for this path, you would press B twice. For the curved path, you just press B once. And you can set a variety of custom paths where you can go and change the settings here down the bottom, how thick something is, the different endpoints, whether the line's straight or wavy and the different color. So I'm gonna grab a bunch of buttons. So we'll scroll down here to the blue buttons and I'll open this up. And if I tick this box, it means that when we click on the first button, it's gonna increment the number each time I click. So here we'll just create our goalkeeper, which is zero. And if I click here, it's incremented the number to one. So that's because I have this ticked. If I untick it and then go back to one, it'll allow me to just keep putting ones down. Now you can use Control Z or Command Z on Windows or Mac to undo. So now let's go through the process and start with number one. And if we wanted to make the icons a little bit bigger, I can increase the size here. I'm just gonna put the goalkeeper and all of the other positions in. Like so. Now we'll give someone the ball. So I'll go to my accessories and click on the ball and we'll give the ball to the goalkeeper. And we can always press A or go back to our original mouse to click and we can increase the size here of the ball. Now I'm gonna select the first path, which is B twice. So I'll press B two times. And currently I have red arrows. Now if I wanna change that to black, and make them a bit smaller. I can do that. And now I want the players to move in a certain direction. So I can click, left click and hold. And you see, I can just move my mouse around until I right click, it's gonna follow my cursor. So I'll right click here, click on player four, right click here. complete that process for a few players. Now, if I wanted to choose a curved path, I can click on the curved path here or press B. And now if I left click on our eight and then left click again, I can curve the line until I right click to finish that. I can also create some text by choosing the text tool or pressing T. Now, if I just click and drag, I can type in the name of our diagram and by clicking on this, I can change the font and play around with the settings. And there's a bunch more options here. I can choose regarding colors, borders and backgrounds. If you left click on a path, you'll see two blue squares pop up on either side. And this allows you to change the path endpoint and start point if you need to. And once we're happy with our diagram, we can right click to add a frame or create the next frame. So the create next frame is a continuation, which means if I choose this, it's going to move the icons to the next spot. So you'll see all of the players are now in the positions we want them, wanted them to be. And if we chose add frame, it's going to create just a new frame with a blank backdrop. Let's zoom out so we can see this a bit better. 
We can also add a bunch of shapes if we wanted to go and select the squares or we wanted to select circles, we can do that. And I'm just clicking, left click and drag. And if I go back and click on our shape, we can change all of the settings, the colors, the thickness and the borders. Clicking on the shape shows the endpoints and I can manipulate the size accordingly. Now, if we wanted to change the different icons that we had available to us on the left hand side here, I can click the icon library and we can choose to right click on particular icons and make them available. And once we click close, you'll see them available on the side here. When you create your diagrams, they're automatically going to be added into the files. So you don't need to worry about saving them and anytime if we need to close the playbook, we can always open back up and access the diagrams or animations that we've created. Good luck creating your diagrams and thanks for watching.